Welcome to 411 Now. Today will be John George Hay. In answering the question, where is he now and what did he do? Hit that subscribe button now so you'll be notified when I upload the next video. You have the option by clicking the bell icon to be notified of some content or all content that I upload. So let's go ahead and take a look at John George Hay the serial killer himself, otherwise known as the acid bath killer. In the late 1940s, John George Hay made himself into an iconic serial killer after being convicted of killing six, although he claimed he actually killed nine. Hay's murders began shortly after being convicted of fraud and spending time in the prison system. He decided while in prison the reason why he was actually caught and his money swindling schemes failed was because he left the victims of his crimes alive. John George Hay came up with an idea right then and there. I know how to make sure that I am ne never caught again. I will dissolve all of the victims in acid baths. After getting out of jail, John Hay, despite landing a lucrative engineering job that would have paid him almost six times what he had ever made swindling people, he killed an acquaintance by inserting himself into the man's lavish lifestyle and hitting him with a hammer in the head. Hay dissolved the entire corpse in a barrel of sulfuric acid, pouring the sludge down the drain in a warehouse he had acquired. No one would ever find this victim, he thought. They're, they're here, they're now, they're gone. When the victim's family became suspicious of Hay and his story as to the whereabouts and what happened to their loved one, he decided, well, I guess I'm going to have to kill them as well. I'll kill them one by one. And he did. Hay lost all of his money eventually, though, gambling, and sought out a wealthy couple to rob and kill. He dissolved them in acid as well. After moving his operation to an even larger warehouse, Hay was finally caught after murdering his final victim, Olive Duran Deacon, a wealthy tycoon widow who he met through in his business connections with the first victim. He invited her to the warehouse to talk about an invention and an idea that she had come up with. Unfortunately for Hay, the new place, the new digs, did not have the appropriate drainage system as the other warehouse had. And when he went to pour the victim down the, the actual drain, well, it backed up and he was going to have to call a plumber. So he d quickly decided, I know what to do. I'll pour this victim out in a rubbish pile behind the warehouse. He figured the police would never look for a dissolved or partially dissolved body in a rubbish pile behind the warehouse. Well, unfortunately for Hay, he was caught by the police and convicted and sentenced to death shortly thereafter. John George Hay, the acid bath serial killer.